Welcome to this video presentation on AC500S Safety I.O. Mapping. In this video, we would like to show you briefly, how Safety I.O. Mapping is done in ABB Automation Builder Engineering Suite. We will use the 16-channel DI581S Safety Input Module as an example here. The Safety Input Module transfers more information to the Safety CPU and like a standard input module to a standard CPU. Since safety involves extensive signal monitoring and diagnostic features, primarily three set of signals get transferred from safety input module to the safety CPU, and one set of signal from the CPU to the module. The first signal is, the channel input status named as input I2. Next the safety diagnostic bit for this input called safe diag input 2. And lastly the reintegration request bit for channel 2. The safety diagnostic bit tells the CPU whether the signal is valid or not. Safety diagnostic bit for a particular channel high means the channel status is OK. If there is an error with the channel the safety diagnostic bit will become low, and a safe value 0 will be transferred to the safety CPU. Once the error cause is removed, the reintegration request input bit will become high. And now the safety CPU has to acknowledge in order to bring the channel back to normal operation from the error or passivation state. The CPU has to make a 0 to 1 transition at the acknowledgement reintegration output for acknowledging the channel. Similarly for every channel there exists one safety diagnostic bit, one reintegration request bit, and one acknowledge reintegration bit. Therefore 16 channel DI module will deal with three words of input data and one word of output data. One has to enter appropriate names to all of these variables as per the requirement. Now let us look at the configuration screen of Automation Builder. When we double click on the DI581S module, we could see the I.O. mapping tabs. In order to enter signal names the safety I.O. mapping option has to be selected. One recommendation from us with regard to naming of variables is this. That is, all safety variables must be clearly defined and identified to distinguish itself from the non-safety variables. As such all safety input variables will be named with the prefix IS input safety. All safety output variables will be named with the prefix OS. The I.O. mapping option could be used to monitor signal states while being online with the CPU. The I.O. mapping list option could be used for fast signal mapping with some powerful filter functions. Now we could see all the input safety variables in the VARS input container under the Profisafe subfolder, located in the global variable folder, and also the output variables. Now these variables could be used in the safety programming POUs for further processing. Thank you for watching this video. And for further knowledge on our safety PLC, please do watch out for our other videos on this product.